you have seven years in office, so you, not every decision you're going to make is going to uh, please everyone. But I think broader than that, it's the ego that the mayor so constantly has displayed. Um, you know, it just as as his he's received more and more criticism over the years. It seems like his leash has gotten tighter and tighter in terms of he he reacts like a petulant child a lot of the time. Uh, when Michelle Rempel criticized him, he kind of lost it. When um, <clears throat> now Bill Smith, he's kind of losing it in in all these forums. Uh, he called one other mayoral candidate uh, a four-letter word at a forum at the University of Calgary. I mean, he's he's losing his cool, and I think Calgarians are seeing that as uh, a manifestation of his of his large ego. Do you think some of the other things are coming into play, like the money wasted on these, well, frankly, ugly public art projects, or the secrecy of the council meetings, or just the tax increases? I, I think people really respond to things that hit them in the pocketbook, and when we they see these constant tax increases spent on hideous public art projects, I think that really annoys people. Oh, absolutely, and I look at what's happening in Calgary right now. It's almost been 10% unemployment the last year. We have a 30% vacancy rate downtown, and yet we're spending hundreds of thousands on public art that no one wants. You've got a city council that's constantly raising taxes, putting these uh, you know, pet projects like bike lanes and green bins and you know whatever it is ahead of the needs of ordinary residents who really probably just need a break right now because of the state of the economy. Uh, this is, this is a, not what Calgarians want to see of their government. They don't, it, it's, it's adding insult to injury when you've got a council pursuing its own little agenda uh, that isn't in line with the reality that Calgary has 10% unemployment and a 30% vacancy rate downtown. That's an excerpt from my weekly full-length show, The Gun Show. On my show, I take on the issues of the day through my Alberta conservative lens, and I talk to the real newsmakers the mainstream media ignores. To get access to my show and all of our other premium content, click the link on the screen to subscribe today.